Do you feel like you are hitting a top spin forehand that can get much better and get way more bite on it? Well, if you are like most amateur players or even some higher level players, maybe like 4 or 5 level, I know that you know how to hit top spin at this point. But I find that most of them, they are not able to accelerate fully the racket and get that extra bite that makes good players become great players. And that's exactly what we're going to be working on in this video. So, well, like we talked about on many other videos, one of the key points for you to get topsy on that forehand, get that extra bite, is coming upwards here quick and turning the racket quick. So, if you have been watching, for example, the ATP finals on the past on the past weeks, you can see how players like Dominic Thiem, Roger Federer, Nadal, they come up super quick with the racket, and that's what allows them to hit the ball very hard, but still making the ball in. Okay, so if you find that you are trying to come upwards and your ball is kind of like sailing, it's going a little bit deep, you are probably missing this part on your forehand. Okay, so we're missing the part of coming upwards but turning this racket very quick here to get that extra bite on the ball. Okay, so what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna give you a couple of drills that I'm gonna really help you out improve this part of your forehand. So the first drill that we're gonna be doing now, what you need is just a few balls. You are going to stand at the baseline, you don't need anyone to do this drill, you can practice it by yourself. What you're going to be doing is eating in open stance or closed stance, it doesn't really matter because we're just working on the technique. What you're going to do is you're going to get set up with the racket down here already, whatever grip you have, okay, you can do it with, with your normal grip. What you're going to try to do is you're going to toss the ball and you're going to come upwards and you're going to try to hit the ball with the edge of the racket, okay? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start with the racket down here with my grip. I'm going to toss the ball and I'm going to come upwards, turn it, turning my forearm. You will see that I don't want you to come upwards with the arm because that's the mistake that we're trying to prevent when people do this instead of this, okay? On the next drill, we're going to learn how to do it as you go up also with the arm at the same time. But for this one, I want you to focus on the forearm turn, okay? So I'm going to toss the ball and I'm going to try to hit with the frame, okay? Hopefully it goes better than the last time I tried to do something hitting the ball with the surf with the frame because last time it took me like 20 tries just to hit one of them and it was a very interesting video so so i'll show you once and then he's going to show you here so here and try to <laughs> exactly like that i'm going to show you one more time guys i got this here you're going to go up <laughs> i can i can tell you that i used to do that man let's see what happens so i'm going to get set up i'm going to toss the ball and i'm going to hit the ball. That was perfect, for example. See how, whoops, not too good. Here, and I'm gonna turn. Do you see how I'm turning here on this part, right? You wanna even see a turn on the same side of the body, not across your body, okay? Because we're only focusing on this first part here. So here. <laughs> That's great. Here, and coming up. Okay, there you go, that was pretty good. So you can see how I'm going slightly up with the arm just because the motion of the racket is forcing me to go upwards but I'm really focusing on this turn of the racket this way, okay? That's the motion that we're working on. So, next thing that we're going to do is we're going to try to implement this part now doing the full motion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come upwards with the racket and the arm and I'm going to try to keep hitting the ball with the frame, okay? So I'm going to start here. I'm going to do the whole motion. Oh, that was very good. Look at that. Over the fence, almost there. So you can see how I'm finishing with the racket all the way down here, right? That's the extra spin that is going to add to the ball, right? So, and here, almost there, ball boy, down here, that was very good. And we're going to try one more time, down here. I'm going up. So you can see how I'm going upwards with the frame and I accelerate the rug, okay? Don't really focus too much if you are not hitting the ball forward, the ball is going backwards. You can see like how half my balls are going towards the other courts and it doesn't really matter. As long as you are coming upwards with this part of the racket very quick, okay? I don't want you to go up like this with the arm because that's exactly what we are, what we are trying to avoid, okay? We're focusing on a rapid forearm turn this way, okay? So the last part that we're going to be doing now is we're going to try to implement this on a normal ball. So we're going to mix one ball that we're going to hit with the frame and the next one we're going to hit it like a normal forehand trying to do the same motion but this time try to hit it with the strings. Okay, so let me get some. So we're going to be mixing one frame and one regular forehand. Okay, so let's start with the frame always. So drag it down here. What we're going to do is we're going to go with, Oh, look at that. Home ram. Now we're going to go with the normal forehand. Okay, so same motion. 
can see how I'm getting that by, right? You want to see that loop over there. Frame again here. There you go. Let's, let's go full motion. There you go, right there. That's very good. Frame. Let's go with the full motion now here. Okay, so you can see how I'm getting that extra bite. If you find yourself that the ball is going a little bit short, just try to focus on coming upwards a little more with your arm and the ball is going to start going a little bit deeper, okay? So, I hope you like these videos. If you want more short tips and this kind of like quick drills that you can do on your own, make sure you let us know in the comment section. Make sure you go to our Instagram, follow us at Time Value of Tennis. And thank you so much for watching.